Hey y'all, it's me. I am Christy Lunsford, the owner and artist of Grana's Vintage Nest. I am a DIY retailer located in Buena, Texas. And guess what? As of right now, I am taking over Debbie's YouTube channel. Oh yeah! <laughs> I am going to be showing you a tutorial on the brand new DIY making powders and golden rule gilding wax. It is awesome. So hang around and watch as I show you my take on this beautiful product. Hey, don't forget to go subscribe to my YouTube channel. The information will be in the description box below. You just hit subscribe, hit the post notification button, and you will be in the know on the next video. Hey y'all, it's me. I'm so excited about this video. I will be demonstrating how I am using the brand new DIY making powders. They are gorgeous. They're so bright and vibrant. There's 12 different colors. I'm so excited to introduce you to these beautiful making powders. And this is my take on these beautiful pigment powders. And of course, Boo just absolutely loves them. Text from Debbie and she was like do you think you can make a tutorial on our new product and I'm thinking yes hello uh, yeah I want to play with this stuff so I finally get these making powders in the mail and I am jumping up and down excited. but then I'm gonna just tell you right now I'm looking at them going I have no clue what I'm doing like zero, I don't, I don't know. But the more I look at this stuff, the more I'm looking at everybody else's tutorials, the more I'm thinking, okay, looks like to me, none of us really know all of the possibilities of these making powders. They're amazing. They're like magic. They're like magic powders. You know what I'm saying? Like magic. This video is really not about the painting process, but I just wanted to show you the colors that I did use. This is the first base coat I used with Hey Sailor, Mermaid Tail, Old 57, Salty Kiss. I laid that first base coat on, went back and did the same thing again. So this is just the beginning of all of the colors. Introducing Brightside, Van Gogh, Date Night, Plant Lady, elixir and best of all golden rule the first powder i used was this bright cobalt blue called elixir this so far is my favorite it is so beautiful i don't know what i'm doing at this point i just take a dry brush i dipped it into the powder tapped it off and then just started working it into hay sailor and it made the hay sailor pop this does remind me a lot of the diy paint blue iris it's a really really bright bright blue so i did this to all of the corners that i had put hay sailor on i took a wet brush to blend it back into the paint it is so beautiful excited okay i'm excited it don't take much to get me excited it just don't i'm looking at everybody else and, and a lot of them are using these as watercolors and I did the experiment with squirting them down with some water. They just like, they are just amazing. But I'm thinking, I don't know how to do watercolor. I, that's not my forte. I paint furniture most of the time. So I've got to paint a piece of furniture and figure out how to use this stuff. As you're gonna see in this tutorial, the little nightstand that I'm painting, it just absolutely was amazing once I started using the powders on it. It just like, I don't know, it just took the color and just went like, ah, in your face. It's just amazing. I can't get enough of this blue. I needed to add it elsewhere because it's just beautiful. So I just started adding it everywhere that I had Hay Sailor. Now I'm adding Bright Side to the yellow to intensify and make that color just pop. I did use a Mr. Bottle on some of this i wanted to intensify the color and seemed like when i sprayed it with the water it did intensify it i still dry brushed quite a bit on the corners in all of the grooves just couldn't get enough of it it was amazing
this moment, I probably needed to put in some blooper reels. There was some things that I tried that did not work. At least it didn't work for me. I tried mixing some of the blue elixir into three different shades of blue. And then I rolled it on top with a scroll pattern roller that, that didn't. I did use that scroll pattern with the three different blues. The powder didn't make any difference one way or the other, but it was a cool effect when I got through. I really liked it. I sanded it lightly and it turned out really good. It's time to wax the piece. I used clear wax, just like I always do. The clear wax did make the pigments darker. After I got through with clear wax, I used white wax. I did it the same way I always do. I work in small sections and take a rag and wipe back. I was a little disappointed in the white wax over the top of the pigments. It did mute the color quite a bit, but I didn't stop there. If you've watched me any length of time, you know that I'm a white wax fanatic. I love white wax. I was really disappointed because the white wax did mute the color. I got this brilliant idea, and it does work. I mixed the color into the white wax, and it turned it this beautiful periwinkle color. It was really pretty. It wasn't quite what I expected. So, I had another plan. Okay, plan three, or is it plan four, five, six? I don't know, but I decided, okay, I'm just gonna put it on dry. So, I put it on a dry brush, I used my clear wax, and I would just lightly use the clear wax wherever I wanted to use the pigment at, just to give it a little bit of wetness so it would stick, and then I just worked in that pigment into the places I felt like it needed to pop. And that was my secret. And it really worked. I am loving it. I don't show the last step in this video but I did take a dry, clean cloth and buffed this piece after I finished with the pigments. I was worried about them coming off since I had dry brushed over the top of the wax, but it didn't, it worked out perfect. The finishing touch, and I have been dying to use this stuff golden rule it is a gold gilding wax and it is absolutely stunning i started first putting it on with my finger just like i do golden ticket but i realized real quick that it wasn't like golden ticket it's more like a wax it is a little bit softer than the regular clear wax but it goes on really well with a brush and i just started brushing it on and highlighting different areas. And I want to tell you, it is amazing. It really makes it shimmer and shine. It's so beautiful. Debbie did an excellent job on these products. I love them. One other tip, it doesn't take but just a little bit of this gilding wax. It goes a long, long way. Meet the beautiful Serenity. I am finally finished with her and I just love how it turned out. I have always been a fan of DIY chalk paint, but the DIY making powders and the Golden Rule Gilding Wax absolutely is the icing on the cake. You are going to love the making powders coming out soon. Every last color is so vibrant, so luscious, and so awesome. 
I promise you, you are going to be blown away. Just keep your eye out and watch. They are coming soon. So glad that you decided to watch my tutorial. And I hope that it helped you understand the DIY making powders and how they work. There is a plethora. Yeah, I like to say that word. A plethora. A plethora. I just like it. It just flows. <laughs> There's a plethora of ways that you can use Debbie's brand new DIY making powders. So you can actually pre-order yours now. The go live date is soon. It is really soon, just right around the corner. So if you wanna be one of the first ones to get your making powders, go pre-order them now. You can go to my website, www.granasvintagenest.com and pre-order them there and be one of the first ones to get your shipment in. And I would love to see your project and how you used the brand new DIY making powders and the golden rule gilding wax. Just tag me in whatever project you have. I would love to see it. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this and I hope it helped. And this is my take on Debbie's brand new DIY making powders. And as always, love y'all.